Hey guys, how is everything? Today we are going to discuss about this particular topic which is cycle all function. So as a beginner, if you, if you try to learn NX Open, this is very important uh, function. So this function is uh, like if, if you go for any interview for NX Open, this is uh, most asked questions like there, there will be a question on how how you can access any object in NX NX window suppose I have a block block created in this NX window so I can see the faces I can see some uh, data system and everything but even uh, I can see these two objects here these two features suppose uh, there are a lot of uh, other objects which is visible and not visible like uh, there are points there are edges edges will have uh, endpoints and start points the lines the face uh, face and everything like there are so many objects displayed here so if you go to this filter you can see uh, almost a lot of uh, objects displayed here okay basically what I'm trying to say is like uh, uh, in, in this window you 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 have a lot of hidden objects as well as visible objects okay fine so let's go back so we need to get all the objects suppose we want to access all the uh, faces how we are going to access it how, how, how we are going to select each face how I want to get the attribute information or some information from this face it's fine we have to know it right we, we, we have to go through all the phases in this particular block feature so which is uh, very important when it comes to um, NX open programming so you have to play around with a uh, lot of objects inside this part file so now it just uh, look, looks like a simple one but you will have a lot of uh, features uh, which is displayed here like extrude there are a lot of uh, sweep uh, profiles these cylinders uh, there are so many objects so many uh, features you can create so there there will be a lot of objects will be created simultaneously so before going to uh, detailing all these stuffs we need to have a look at how these objects are being structured in NX Open. So I just prepared this uh, little uh, uh, diagram so you can say it just how we are going to access each um, element in this annex window. Suppose I want to have a face so face you can't directly access a face it is a subtype like uh, it is a subclass like uh, the parent is like displayable object and the displayable object has a parent called nx object nx objects again have a top level parent which is tagged object so the thing is if you go i will for better understanding i am trying to open this uh, existing project okay where we have face okay we have trying to get the face from from the tag actually so if you go uh, to the definition of this face see this is this is where we need to uh, know about the c-sharp uh, inheritance uh, there are key concepts in c-sharp encapsulation in inheritance polymorphism and there are another one also okay that that you have to study it anyway <laughs> okay so the face is actually inheriting this display object class displayable object if you go there again displayable object is coming from nx object like it, it, it's going to inherit this this class also so again you can go to the nx object class again it's actually getting this tagged object inheritance here so we go there it's again remotable object it's fine it's a kind of another top level nx object class which is going to link our system level uh, thing like like you can see you don't have anything related to nx here so it just they are trying to access the system level thing 
and uh, and they have some relationship inside so which 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 will make you confused so let's close it so that's why I, I just made it as a simple level so like we have a tagged object class and which will give nx object class access as well as displayable object we will get a display object from this nx object and this display object can be accessed from face point data component system everything like like whatever it is displayed in this list we can we can get all this uh, uh, child level objects here so let's go back to the explanation again return all objects in a in a given part on all layers regardless of their current status or displayability this includes temporary system created objects it does not return expressions okay the thing is they are going to give all the objects from the per current part okay so uh, they have uh, everything which is created by the system so when you create a new part there are some default uh, system created objects in in the next session so that's what they are trying to convey here and this function returns the tag of the object was found to continue checking past the returned object in as the second argument to this function. Okay. So we have to keep uh, passing the second uh, the object which we got for, uh, from the first cycle, from the first execution. Suppose we need to give, see, this function has two arguments which uh, in which uh, there are two inputs. So this is basically our part tag. The tag which which is from our uh, uh, this part level tag we have to pass okay and the tag of the first object like if it is executing the first time then uh, the tag will be there but uh, from starting uh, we will not have anything like because we are just going to start getting the first object so i think we have to before begin the cycle by passing the object null tag okay we are going to start with the null like we don't have anything because this cycle will execute it in a loop so we are going to use uh, a loop function from the c sharp okay i hope everything is clear again i, I felt a little bit um, of uh, trying to explain it again like so just consider this is a parent class and this is a subclass like child class this is a super child class and again this is a another super child class which will be derived from this display object so the thing is like uh, yeah this is the hierarchy like like our family like there are father and grandfather something like that okay just just remember this hierarchy that's it okay let's go back we will create a new new project we'll close this one okay okay we will uh, create a, a class library project because uh, i think earlier i used only the ex based projects so now i'm planning to try with the dll projects okay so which will be which will have an extension of dot dll so here we have to give a project name which is um, cycle cycle all objects in part okay you can give any name so just make sure dot framework 4.5 create Okay. we have a default a class here you can change this name also like uh, okay let's create our entry point which is public static main sorry return type is white and main and pass the string arguments ok 
okay and also uh, i'm going to implement this method for unloading the unloading the dll when it is executed so let's go with the session the default uh, okay i'm going to add the reference usually i will add all these um, libraries uh, for any project so i will be able to access the base nx open class also i will be using the use ufunk uh, ufunk uh, methods so i'm just uh, trying to get this and the nx open ui you can add it like it's your choice okay let's access the section here give a variable name Okay. And your session. Okay. Now we'll get the current part. Okay, I need to make this as a static variable so then only I can access because our, our method is static so I need to make sure the variables are static okay I think from the session I will take so this will get the present work part okay which will be like uh, our clock so now we go back to this function there is an example which is uh, using C language you can have a look so I don't want to waste time here so let's go back okay this is in UF object uh, class library so I'm going to access it okay the Okay, sorry, not that. You go session dot object dot cycle all. So part tag. So we already have a part dot tag. And an empty tag we have to pass. Okay, I'm going to define an empty tag. You can see they, they asked us to start with the uh, passing in alt tag so that's why I'm making it an alt tag and I'm going to pass it and if you have a look at this function go to definition so it it, it returns a tag so usually this this means uh, this uh, this is a structure of any function in C sharp so this is like access modifier it is a public or private or it can be like internal there are a lot of uh, access modifiers out there so you have to study all those things I'm not going to explain it so this one is a tag so we need to we will get the tag so as of now I can use the same tag because it's anyway it's null tag so I will get a new value here means the first object here so let's run this program okay I think everything is done let's build okay okay I just forgot 
I need to uh, because now if you run nothing will happen because it's just going to execute now I am going to attach the process like this is very important if you if you are getting any error or if you are trying to uh, expect if you are trying uh, if you are expecting something if if something is not getting uh, your inputs basically if, if you if you have any error so you need to know how to debug the application by attaching to the NX session so now I'm going to show you so let's go to the debug tab debug uh, option attach process and uh, the unit graphics will have a name with this is our application see you can see it's NX12 modeling so we have to attach with this so I'm just going to use the shortcut control U to execute I will pass okay this is our DLL okay it's just going to hit the breakpoint here so you guys need to know what is breakpoint okay this is uh, used for debugging purpose in C sharp so I'm using the same way so I have a part tag yes I will just press F 10 or 11 F 10 I'm just pressing I got the first object that's it so we got only one object and the program is successful but the thing is we need all the objects right so I'm going to use the C sharp uh, uh, C sharp uh, help like C sharp looping concept so let's put everything in a loop so I'm going to use the do while loop here so do okay well this object tag it's not equal to tag dot null 